Yeah, na, na shula samba bane. I'm quite hungry actually. This place can be very hot. So, in the end, can our samba go first? Mm. It's hot, it's humid. There is no Uber Jackson, there is no Uber here. They have got other apps, but no Uber. They have got other apps. There is Grab. I'm using Grab. Is it Grab? Yeah, it's Grab, I think. Mm. I'm sorry, guys. I went somewhere. So, I've just... I've just come and um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite hungry, so that's why, I mean, you see me uh, eating. I wanted to cook something, but I changed my mind instead. I ordered a, a pizza. So now, um, I, I, I just want to touch on a few things tonight. Basically, uh, it's this issue that um ya kwa uyum dalo yati yui i just want to 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 shed some light on uh, on that issue but before i i come to that i want to say this that look the president hakainde ichirema has really messed up our country and this is a fact uh, president hakainde ichirema has really messed up our country our country is very divided. A lot of people, um, you know, have got issues. They have got issues. They're just not expressing themselves. We are very divided. Haka Inde has brought this issue of regionalism, you know, so apparent. Though we are not talking about it, but it is inhibited in us. It is inhibited in us. And um, we... We, we are reacting differently. We are reacting differently. But from my point of view, I, am, I want to say that uh, this difference that Waka and HDM has created, we should realize that it is all a UPND agenda. Tribalism in Zambia is a UPND agenda. It's a UPND. Tribalism and regionalism is a UPND agenda. It is a UPND agenda. Makamaka Haka Inde Ichirema. It is only when Haka Inde Ichirema came, you know, on the political scene that regionalism was so apparent. Only when Haka Inde Ichirema came in that regionalism was so apparent. Ngamulela that Bufi Ndevepa, let's go back when Mazoka was the leader of UPND. Eh? When Mazoka was the leader of UPND, Mazoka, a number of people, if, if, I mean, uh, look at the votes that uh, he got. 
during uh, uh, 20, uh, is it 2006? Yeah, during 2006. Is it 2006 or 20 or 20, 2001? I think it's 2001. No, it's 2006. It's 2006. Look at the votes that he, Mazoka got it during 2006. He almost won the election. He almost won the election. And he had people from different regions. We didn't have this issue. No, 2001, that's when Mwanawasa won. And the, um, Mwanawasa won. It was during the second term of Mwanawasa. It was during the second term of Mwanawasa. Mwanawasa died in his second term. And it was during his uh, second term that Mazoka almost won. Uh, 20, 2001. 2001. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's 2001. I remember. Yes, it's 2001. It's 2001. You are right. It's 2001. Uh, which actually afterwards a uh, mazoka petitioned that and then um, you know Mwanawasa turned against Chiruba and then Chiruba had a meeting with Mazoka uh, under the tree in Villa Elizabeth and brought the spark between now a uh, Mwanawasa and Chiruba which made now Chiruba to be persecuted by Mwanawasa because he saw that Mwana, uh, Chiruba was uh, fraternizing with Mazoka. So yes, you are right, 2001. So, uh, Mazoka, I mean, even, even, even a lot of people, of course me, I was supporting Sata. I was supporting Sata. In the, the moment Sata left MMD, I, I started supporting Sata. I've always voted for, for Sata. So, he, he was different. But the moment he, Haka Inde Ichilema came into power, yeah, 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 yeah. It came into a got a UPND regionalism came in regionalism came in so in a, the person that has brought regionalism as we have it today because Mazoka was not like that he wasn't so now he has even come into power it is even worse it is even worse there is systematic discrimination against certain people in this country we cannot pretend we cannot pretend about it it is a reality but my appeal to the citizens of our country is that don't look at uh, you know a person who is Tonga a person who is Lozi a person who is Kaonde and you know with, with, with mixed feelings and hate them no we have lived well amongst ourselves like I've been saying a number of us we we have there have this been there there have, there has been these intermarriages. We have relatives who are coming from different regions. I for one, I've got relatives who are Tonga. I've got relatives who are Tonga. I've got relatives who are Lozis. You know, uh, my one of my favorite uh, my favorite cousins. You know, uh, Vacharity. She's married to a Lozi. And they've got beautiful children, beautiful grandchildren, you know. And I've got my own sister. She's, she's married to a Tonga person. So, and we don't have issues. We don't have issues with this. But Baka in the HDMI is the one who has brought this. Now, this is here, is upon us. My appeal to us is that please, let us see, see how we can live with each other. Let us put these tribal and the regional politics of UPND aside, and let us embrace each other as one and the one nation. Particularly for whoever we will take over from Aka in the HLM. This is my appeal, and this is why I've been saying we need somebody who is mature, somebody like by, by Edgar Lungu. And the truth be told, even by Edgar Lungu, there were a number of people that were, were fired. You know, a number of people were fired. And Haka in the HDMI was saying, when I come back, I'll come and the, bring you back into employment. You are just on holiday. So that should not happen again. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. We need to have a leader that will come and embrace a, a one Zambia, one nation motto. Uh, a, 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 realistically, truthfully, not here, one Zambia, one Zambia, one Zambia, one nation. 
One nation, one people. No, no. Aka Inde Ichilema likes to say this, but he doesn't mean it. He's not coherent. So we need a person that will come and walk the talk on this particular issue. If we don't walk the talk on this particular issue, we will never develop. A country to develop must be united. If a country is divided, there is no way a country can develop. Especially when you are, when you are divided on regionalism, tribalism, you can never develop. So, we need a leader that you will be mature. It shouldn't be that number two abuela, let's fix those who are fixing us. Uh -uh. It shouldn't be like that. We should embrace everyone. People should not come and lose jobs because now we are going to kick you out. No, they are Zambians. They are Zambians. We shouldn't do what Hakainde Ichirema did. I mean, me, I like to be honest. Like, yes, there were people that also lost jobs during the time of PF. They were people. It's a fact. Except that this time around, it is worse. It is worse. A lot of people have been, have been uh, removed from employment. A lot of people. Baka Pokola, Musibu Society, we have over 650 people that have been removed from employment. Not kwa tabaka pokola, about 150 baka pokola. And some of baka pokola, senior, senior officers, senior, senior officers, ama commissioners, they are languishing at home. Musivu service, we have got a lot of people who have been submitted to PCMD. So we are talking about over 650 people just staying home. And unfortunately, it is actually costing us because these people are actually being paid, especially uh, some of these uh, I know they are being paid, but we have about 150 police officers who are just staying at home, but they are being paid. Then we have those who are called PCMD over at Perati Achan at, uh, at for, for redeployment. Eh? They are there, but they are not PCMD. They are not working. All these people, all these people, we need to find a way. Whatever it's, it is going to take, whether we are going to break the, 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 the bank, we have to break the bank and make sure that all these people are back into employment. And not to be like that. So we need to be sober. We need to be uh, realistic, uh, not to use uh, emotions. And in so doing, I've also seen this now ten a tendency where people are celebrating when they see bad things happen to those that are in power. I know it is a natural phenomenon. You know, when somebody has been doing something bad to you, you want something bad to happen to them. But I don't think that is a Christian, especially now, especially that I'm talking about this today, you know, on, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, you, know, you know, when I'm talking anyway during this time of Easter you know so the message of Easter for me is that please in spite of the difference the division that president Akai Hlem has brought can we embrace each other can we forgive each other can we show love instead of being vindictive? The article that was written by uh, Yui, I, I think it was, it was not, the, whoever wrote that article, there is an article that was circulating over Mr. Yui. That article, uh, it has got nothing but malice. It has got nothing but malice. And now, when I talk like this, a lot of you people, you, I know you don't like Yui. Yui is one of those police officers who is not liked at this point. And, and it's a fact because, I mean, he's, he's a director, he's in, he's in charge of crime one, and crime one is notorious to harassing, especially the opposition. So, he's not liked. And even myself, I'm, I've, I've suffered that uh, Yui's uh, um, uh, hands I've suffered at you is and they came to my house, they brutally got me from the house. You know, that day when you I, I, I even streamed live 
they, they, they forced themselves. Yui was there. I was taken. I was beaten. Later on, of course, recently what happened, they came, broke into my house, got things from my house. And surely the natural experience, the, nat the natural reaction would be that I would not be happy with this man. I would want bad things to happen to him. But no, it shouldn't be like that. Then it's pointless for us to be Christians. In a, I want to say it that I have suffered. I have suffered during this regime. I'm out here because of this regime. Eh? I have committed no offense whatsoever. No offense. All I've done is spoken and pointed out issues. And for that, I've been treated like, like a, a dangerous criminal. Which is not right. And I know even those that are in government, including YHHE, they know. Even HHE knows that I'm an innocent man. I'm just a man that stands for the truth. Even the police officers, even if I you, they know. They know. But look what I'm going through. Look what I'm going through. It is okay. It is okay. My prayer every day is that I'm not vindictive. And that is what I'm also appealing to you people. Don't be vindictive. Don't be vindictive. That article was written to maliciously damage a, a Yui because it had, it had the truth. It was far from the truth. It was far from the truth. In that article, I think I was one of those people, the first people that, was, that, was, that received that article. Somebody wrote it and sent it to me. I read it and I like, no, I don't think... As much as this man has, is a bad man, is a bad police officer, as much as he's a bad police officer, I don't think he can send people to go and uh, steal 400,000 kwacha. After stealing 400,000 kwacha, he gets a 50,000 kwacha. Mm, you're 50,000 kwacha, you're 50,000 kwacha. He pockets a 300,000 kwacha. Later on, he engages in, you know, uh, attacking the same police officers. It didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. And this is not to say, don't send stories to me. Send me stories. I want stories. I want to expose the bad things that are happening in that government. And I will continue exposing the bad things that are happening in, in our government. I will continue exposing. Especially that I'm out here. I will bring out whatever is wrong. But what is wrong, it shouldn't be a lie. It shouldn't be a lie. So nakana, in nakana, please na papat. Don't use me to um, to be malicious. Nakana, I, that is not my intention. My talk, if you don't know the chungulo, my twenty hours is not for me to malign people. It's not for me to lie. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I refuse that. I don't lie, unless yes, I mean from my judgment. Or I believe that, okay, this is what it is. But then later on, I find out that facts are whatever. But I am not malicious. And I don't deliberately lie against people. That article, it has gone round and a lot of people are talking about it. But it is not true. It is not true. Yui did not send police officers to go and steal. What is the story? This is, and this I found out independently, because when I got that article, I started asking around, asking around, asking around, you know, uh, among, I have <laughs> my friends, I have my friends. So I was asking around, and they told me the story. So the story, what really happened was that there was, it is, it is about a land issue. Uh, some guy, some two people swindled money from, from two people. Swindled money from two people, one four hundred thousand, the other one hundred thousand, which makes the, which makes it five hundred thousand. Investigation started last year. Unfortunately, these investigations have been going slow. So, like always, when somebody reports a case, go actually report case per police, per central police. Wamona case you wait till end we know you see that your case is not moving. The police officers are not doing anything. The, some people decide to go to another police station. Especially they would go to a police station where they think they, they know someone or 
somebody can, you know, can pull something for them. And that's how that case ended up, I think, Nikuchilanga. That's where it ended up. And police officers from Chilanga arrested two people. And now they wanted to arrest another person in Olympia. They believed that one person was uh, in a house in Olympia. So these police officers went to Olympia. Of course, according to their claim, they, uh, they lodged, uh, you know, they reported at Central and they reported at, uh, at, uh, at, uh, at Manda Hill. Because the way the police operate, if you are a police officer, you are, for example, in Cheston, and you want to arrest somebody in, in Chawama, you need to notify, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, the people who are in that jurisdiction. So, a police officer, yes, a police officer is 24-7, and he can arrest at any time. But they need to report to the nearest police station that they are doing an operation. So according to them, they are saying they did report this matter at Central and they reported the matter also at, um, at Manda Hill, which is, uh, which is covering uh, Olympia. Now, when they went to this place, they packed their vehicle outside. They packed their vehicle outside waiting I don't know if they are waiting for this person to come out. Then they pounce on him. And they waited there for a long time. Which alarmed the people around there. They, it alarmed the people around there. To parking in the pants up. But these police officers approached the owners of the house and started arguing. That is how somebody now phoned by you. I'm sure Nika Parika Linkyapo. Phoned Yui, and Yui came, okay, to check who are these police officers. Yui didn't know who these police officers were, were. and he came gun blazing number C five. They thought in Wakabwalala. They thought in Wakabwalala. So they came number C five. That's how Yui came with C five because they thought Awaban to Wakabwalala. The report that Yui and uh, his colleague got. Is that Niwaka Walala Vale Fukuiva? And that's how Yui came. And when they came, they came, you know, uh, full, with full force. Because according to them, they were confronting uh, thieves, they were confronting armed robbers. And that is how there was that issue of lie down, lie down, everyone. Eh? And they got their guns. Yui only learned that Walawa Ripa ni waka pukola. Yui was even asking to say, show me your ID. And the person who was in charge produced an ID. So, frankly speaking, the police officers who went to apprehend this person, they were wrong. How were they wrong? Number one, these people are from Chilanga. Okay, all the way to Olympia. Eh? All the way to Olympia. That is number one. Number two, they should have gotten a warrant. They should have gotten a warrant. They should have gotten a warrant. How do you go and Mwamkubela Mino Muntu Pansen and Moto Kanam Pakina? Is a police, a private vehicle you have parked outside? That is wrong. That was wrong. And when you talk about Yui, of course, whoever called him, it's because he has got connection. And I'll talk about that. So, Yui coming, now C5, no, I don't think there was anything wrong. I don't think there was anything wrong. The only thing is now, now, so, there was nothing like Yui got money. That is not true. But now, what are the lessons that we can pick from this? The lessons that we can pick is that much as I'm saying that Bayui was innocent, he, would, he didn't steal. That, that is just the truth. But you see, Bayui and his police, Nava IG, this should be, should be an eye opener for you. You see, Imwe Bayui, you, 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 you reacted so fast to go and protect your own. You reacted so fast to go and protect your own. But you, the same Yui, 
you are you are you are a notorious police officer who sent police officers to other people without a warrant. You are the same you who sent your special Zambezi force. I call your wing Zambezi force. You send your Zambezi force in any jurisdiction without them reporting themselves. You don't, you never go Paroma police watch that report. Uh -uh. And I'm taking myself as an example. You come, you break the gate, you break the house. Eh? You shoot guns. You were shooting at my house. Shooting at the dogs. You were shooting at the dogs. Did you ask for permission? No. For you, it is okay. You read. You went to Rishon Tembo. Eh? You have gone to other politicians as well. What you do is very bad. And today, because your own was threatened, your own was threatened, you rushed and you acted swiftly. When it comes to people like me, you even arrest innocent journalists. Eh? Innocent Piri and his cameraman, was, they were arrested for trying to cover the bad things that you are doing at my house. You went in my house, got things. You got my camera. You got two cameras, actually. You got my intelligence camera. You got my normal camera. You got my laptop. You got, uh, you got my internet gadgets. You even plucked out the entire CCTV system to cover your tracks. So, by you, much as I'm saying, no, you didn't steal. I don't want to lie against you. Much as I want to commend you to say, yes, you were right to react to this situation. You were protecting citizens. But then, look at the way you treat some of us. Look at the way you treat other people. You see? For, for you, for your own, you rush to protect them. But for us, we have no rights in our own country. We have no rights. You don't even respect our homes. My house, you just go in, quite in public toilet. Na public toilet, waladipirao. Really, is that okay? Is that good, Vayui? Is that good what you do? I'm out here. Why am I, why am I out here? Why? Vayui, what crime have I committed? People want to come to my house to assassinate me. Those soldiers who came to my house, they came to assassinate me. I don't think they came for anything else. Because how do people come covered nefma nefma nankani nefma masks with those sophisticated guns? What did they want? Are those the kind of people who want to talk? If people come in that manner, can you say they have come to talk? I think they wanted to kill me. And I report to you, what do you do, Mayui? I'm arrested. My garden boy, arrested, tortured. What is good for the gander? What is it? What is good for the goose? Is good for the gander? Eh? It is not good that you are applying your law enforcement in this manner. It is not good. And because you are doing it, Imok Force Headquarters, Rasinya of police officers, you are doing it. This is why now these other police officers are following this, are following suit. This is why those police officers are also doing the same thing. Those police officers, I know they didn't go all the way to, to Olympia. You can you can you can cheat a woman and not in it. It is because somebody must have funded, must have put in some money. That operation was funded. Otherwise, you wouldn't. Where? 
It is because somebody had put in money. And this is how you are destroying our country. This is how we are destroying our country. Wa ai chibale ba chiba janki ba janki. Imwe ba mwe be neva yui na bantu be. The way you behave, you are the ones who are behaving like junkies. You are the one who are behaving like junkies. You are setting an example to these other police officers. You are setting an example. But your because your own was touched, you had to bring force. Ba si five kiriki kiriki honestly. You are destroying our country. You are destroying our country. Zambia will no longer have the reputation that it holds. I'm telling you, I've been moving around and I've moved in, in a few countries before I came here. I've moved in a few countries. And I, I want to tell you that, I mean, I like the response that people give us when they see you as a Zambia. I like the response that they give us. But you are going to destroy this. You are going to destroy it. So, Ine, basically for tonight, I'm saying, he didn't steal. What he did was okay. Because those, those police officers were acting like criminals. And Yui had no alternative but to come in, you know, like he's confronting criminals. Unfortunately, the same Yui that is doing this to his own is a culprit in, you know, doing similar things to people like myself, to people like Sean Tembo, and many other politicians. You know, even Kuri Savoy, you did the same thing. It is not good. You may hate me for speaking out, but you know that what I'm saying is the truth. What you have been doing to us is not good. What you have been doing to me is not good. It is sad that you are rushing to protect your own, but you are making people like myself victims who now have to run away from our country for having committed no crime, for having just expressed ourselves. But nonetheless, I pray that we will not be vindictive. That is my prayer. We will not be, especially me. In a moment, I'm telling you, I'm swearing. I am swearing. I, I know one day I will be in government, but I will not be preoccupied in sorting out people. This, I know has made all of us now to, has made it very difficult for us to be believed. People are going to find it difficult to believe us because he's too much of a liar. Maka in the is too much of a liar. He is refusing that he's not a liar when he's whatever, but the man is a liar. He's a big liar. But he name, I tell the truth. And I stick, I stick to my uh, to my pledge. If I tell you a way to say you, you are my friend. If I tell you that you are my friend. I will go all the way. Of course, I will not spare you. Um, to, I will not spare you by not by not telling you the uh, the wrong things that you do. But I am quite loyal, and some of you, Mwebali Damba, you actually attest to that. Even when I'm even talking to people, even when I come to when I come to talk about these some of these issues, I am loyal to certain people. I stick to my words and I'm pledging that the day that I will be part of government, I will make sure that we are not vindictive. Instead, we unite Zambia. Ngakuchita resign if you feel in the land of land. Valungu Ngavaisa take, let's say, imagine Valungu Vateka and Valungu appoints me in his government. Elo balungu wakata mpifu kutukula ukula tamfi ya bantu nchito. Ine au resign. Nde mi hafe chishinka au resign. Nga kunji katafuti wakata mpo kunji katana wabene balungu nga walefua. But I am going, I'm not going to agree that we are vindictive because we will never develop. Zambia we are on a standstill.
and we are actually going back because of the tribalism that Waka Indichinema has brought. I'll open phone lines so that uh, you can also participate. You can share your experience. Yeah, Kahit Kakuno. Mulambe, I prefer to say, but now we have Kapisa, but the literature land. Oh, I need, um, I need my stick. It was charging. Yeah, so the number that you the number that you are calling is as usual our number um zero 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 seven six three three zero two two zero seven Hello? Hello. What you look here? M. Kwai. Mwa, mwa, itale mwa. Awa kuna kuna fesha na imwe? Awa kuna ndushe, you know, kuna nsha ilu mbule shina. M. Kwai. Kani kwa chwa ndefwa ya kwe wati ndande kwe. There is a developing trend. Machiranda body, whoever to a little knowledge, Charlo. Just the folk land up in me extrajudicial killings, he let it come. Eh, hmm. Yeah, but your point, yo. Stop. Hello. Hello. I'm quite. And then, too, for vacation, quite thinking. Hmm, network, yach, yach, you killings that are happening in Zambia. They have now become like a routine. You know? Huh? Mm -hmm. No more. 
Mm. There has been the developed trend, which no one is talking about, mm -hmm. where suspects suspects are being apprehended. They apprehend the suspect. Then they say, we took him to the crime scene. Mm. He attempted to flee, mm. so we gunned him down. Mm. It has become like a routine. Mm. And no one is talking about it. You are right. And you know, it's not... Uh, it's 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 not looking good. Mm -hmm. I'm not supporting criminals, mm -mm. but mm -hmm. I feel like uh, we are. We, if we are to fight crime, we are we're supposed to fight it within the confines of the law. Yes, yes, yes. Not mm -hmm. the way they are doing it. I have one thing. It's too much. And you, at four people at a go. Hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the no and, exchange and of fire. The, what is really... Um, yes. They are literally killing these people. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, you are right. You are very right. They are literally killing these people. Mm -hmm. And our human rights... What is really disheartening, Mr. President, is that... But it's quite... Eight. Hello? Yes, yes, yes. I'm saying that the human rights and other civil societies very, very quiet. Mm. By human no, rights, by even... human rights. I mean, because by human rights are supposed to even investigate. Am I human rights? Yes. Human rights are supposed to come yes. in and make sure that indeed the police acted according to the you know, to, to within the, the confines of the law, like you said. Yes. But nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Because Wasanga about human rights when Eva card the Vanari Muti at Vanani at Vanani Vadia Balaura Balaura Niti. Eh? Never have one given Dava, yet Vanani Vampira could never be a lava and Navena Niva card. Hm? I don't know if it's not 50 bucks. I don't know, but I don't know. 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 I don't Natasha son. Hey, Hello? Hello? Hello, Yes, good day. Good evening. Okay, this is uh, Kefas. Yes, we're Kefas. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to, I, I wanted to uh, to really talk uh, about two issues. Mm. One of them is what the lady who just called has talked. Mm. I stay in Osaka. Mm. Uh, over a fortnight ago, I was in Kitwe. Mm. I think a month ago. Mm. There, there was a story of, a, of, of some robbers who robbed a bank in Kitwe. I don't know whether you remember that story. The people... I don't know whether you remember it, but I think people know it. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, yes, go ahead. Yes. Hello, Batari. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So, what I'm saying is, mm. there are so many these stories of extrajudicial killings. Mm. I hear that story. Because there is one of the person that I know, right from, uh, from KMB. I come from here in Osaka. Mm. Right from KMB. Mm. Yes. But from what I heard, there are a lot of police officers and that guy was just picked and shot. Mm. Because, you know, 
Alors, au cours de vous, like, on va trouver les Français. Mm. So, what I'm trying to say is that there could be so much criminality that is going around, mm. but people that are supposed to protect us are involved. Mm. And this is the reason why a person who is not armed or a person that, is, that, that becomes a victim mm. is this person who is put in the battle, of, you know, in a front where they, they are the ones involved in the cr crime, but there are people backing them. You see the point, right? Mm. Mm. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can, can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. That, that, is, that is in line to clear and get rid of the evidence. Mm. Mm. Kind of stuff. Mm. So these ex extrajudicial killings that we are talking about, they are actually connected to what I've told you. I, may I stay in Osaka, I've been in Osaka for the past 20 years. Mm. I have friends in Copperdale, and I've heard a lot of stories in line with that. But I also want to tell you something, you yourself, Mr. Perry. Mm. To be very honest with you, you may sound like this a genuine person, but really sometimes you speak to your conscience and you feel it is wrong to do and create a situation and you be You are a genuine person on one part. I feel so and this guy will feel so. But on the other side, I also feel that Sometimes a carrot can be, you can be tangled that you would want to, to, to chew it. I, I somehow also believe like, I feel also like that. You see, like on the conversation, I don't even know. I'm, I'm just reading it online. Mm. You see, you've come very humble. Uh, very humble. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are very humble. You are trying to explain so that you want us to get the, mm. and you are convinced there is no for play mm. that incriminates Baru in this matter. Mm. But you must also understand that you are not the only person. Yes. This is your explanation from your side. But it cannot be treated as gospel truth as if you are the only one or you are the person with the monopoly of information. Uh, this is not to suggest that the, the, the story about you, Mr. Louis, is, a, is, is, a, is, is actually a true one. But I also want to tell you, one way you can know a person is consistency. Sometimes... You are very inconsistent, and anybody, anybody in this country really know you. I speak this from my heart. Some people know you that you are very inconsistent. Sometimes you speak based on what you get. Yes, politics has no morality. It is true. That is the fact. You can tell me this tomorrow. You tell me the other, the other story. As long as it politically it fits you, sometimes you'd want to use. But there is an aspect in you. But somehow I see that despite, maybe we are not even supposed to get in politics because eh, there is one part that I feel, this is a very genuine part. But because of politics, sometimes you find yourself in a situation and you find yourself compromising heavily. That one I can tell you. Okay. Okay. That that network. Hello. Hello. I want to me. The, the network is bad, but I've gotten your point. I've gotten your point. You are saying, you know, sometimes you come out very genuine, very genuine, and uh, you you feel that yeah, I've I've just said something as it is but then sometimes you feel that i'm speaking from a point of where i've been compromised but you see um much as you look at me 
from that perspective, okay, where you feel to say, no, today is genuine. And other times you feel to say, ah, uh ah, -uh, he has been compromised. You also have to know that there is also your side. And this is not just for to Kephas, it's to many other people. There is a lot of you, a, a lot of you people, you accuse me of not being consistent. Because you want me to be always saying things the way you want. That is the issue. You always want me to say things the way you want. When I say something different from the way uh, you, you want me to say it, or from your, different from your perspective, you say I'm inconsistent. So for me, I am actually happy with this uh, notion to say that is inconsistent. Because life is just not consistent. Life is not consistent. The very person, upon support of Alungu, the very Valungu, they support of Alungu, I'll find that tomorrow he has got issues. And if I am consistent to the truth, I should be able to point out that negativity. I should be able to do that. The issue is that for, for, for you people, especially... The, I mean, because, I mean, it's, 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 it, it, it's only two hours. There is the opposition and the ruling party. So, those who are in the opposition, if uh, I am speaking against Haka in the Chilima, it, it is okay. And you want me to continue just criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. When I say something that is positive about Haka in the Chilima, you turn around. And both sides, you accuse me of being compromised. You accuse me of being paid. You accuse me of being paid. Both sides. PF, when I'm speaking, when I'm, when I'm speaking about Haka in the Ichilema, PF will rise up. Hey, they, are, they have given him so much. Eh? I remember there were people who even went to Ed Galunga and said, they, are, they have given him 50, 50, uh, 50 million media. Eh, 50, I don't know, 50, I don't know, whatever. You know, but Daddy has been given money. People went, he has been given money, and whatever, whatever. And you know, God blesses me. And when he blesses me, you don't understand how God blesses me. So you always like to accuse. Uh, 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 you want to say, hey, no, it's that one, it's that one. He has been paid. That's why he's talking like this. If I say something now, I have expressed myself the story as it is. And I know you don't believe it. You want to believe. I think in your mind, Yui has given me money. But Yui, Yui where is Yui going to get money to, to, to give me? To compromise me? Where? And why am I going to defend Yui? Why am I going to defend Yui? If it is not true, why am I going to defend Yui? This is a man that has caused so much misery in my life. Why am I going to defend him? Why am I going to defend him? Why? 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 Why would I defend you? For what? We all, you all know how much I've suffered at the hands of this man. So why should I defend him? For what? I'm simply telling the story as it is. And yes, you have said that uh, you should know that you don't hold uh, the, 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 the monopoly of the truth. Usually, this is what... She, both hours say both hours they say that you don't hold the monopoly of, 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 of truth well I don't hold the monopoly of truth and I could be wrong but I have to give what I know I have to give what I know I cannot come here and start talking and if no I have to speak what I know and I know on this story I know that it is true because the people that are that that uh, that I've gotten information from are the people that were involved, except that, I mean, from their point of view, they believe that they didn't do anything wrong. But from my point of view, I know that they did something wrong, because, I mean, all the way from Chilanga, they came this side, eh? and then, I mean, they show up at a house without a warrant, Kwatinwaka Walala. And this is, is there. It's just what it is. So it's not that I'm defending you. Uh -uh. Nah, I'm not, I, don't, I have got no reason to defend you. I've got no reason whatsoever. I've got no reason. 
I've got no reason to defend you. I know the other issue that you are talking about the issue ya kwa Kasanda. Eh? Um, at none, uh, what, what is Shadrach Kasanda. Eh? Again, even that one, I mean, even today, Haka I mean, I'm speaking against the man. And I'm saying, let's even kick out the man out of state house. But even today, I'll still stand to tell you that Haka Inde Ichirema was not involved. Even today, I will still stand to tell you that Haka Inde Ichirema was not involved in that God scandal. He was not involved. Haka Inde Ichirema was not involved. Yes, a number of people, uh, you know, around the president, around the president, not the president himself, they knew about that deal. They are the ones who were playing. But not that Haka Inde Ichirema was, was involved. I will still say it today. But you don't like it when I speak like that. In I try. Yes, of course, there are instances when I also look away. That is the truth. There are instances when I look away. For some reasons, I look away. There are some times. But at least what I do is I keep quiet. If, I, if, I, if something, I, I think that I'm compromised or I've got an interest in an issue, let me tell you, what I do, I keep quiet. That's what I do. I, that, what I do, I keep quiet. I will not come here and absorb somebody to say, no, touch the left, touch the left. No, I will never do that. I will never do that. If I know that somebody has done something wrong and I know I can't really say the truth, I would rather keep quiet. That's what I do. And there are stories, there are instances here and there that I've just kept quiet. People are busy talking, but I keep quiet. I keep quiet. But there are certain things that I come out and I speak because I believe that, you know, justice has to be saved. So, anyway, that is, uh, that is my position uh, considering what uh, uh, Kefas was saying. So, you can call, you can call, the number that you are calling is 763 Three zero two two zero seven. Zero seven six three three zero two two zero seven. Zero seven six three three zero two two zero seven. I may have to leave it there. Because I'm um, uh, because them on quite phone now issue pacolelo. I think I'll, I'll leave it there so that I can finish my, 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 my pizza here and uh, rest Tukalandako uh, Milo. I think for tonight I'll leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I ask you, you know, to pray for me. These are difficult times, but I ask you to pray for me. And I ask you to pray for my persecutors as well. Pray for them that they can realize that what they are doing is not right. May God bless you. May God bless Zambia. Good night.